Welcome to part three in our series on watercolor techniques brought to you by Stecker Studios. In part three, we'll be practicing the techniques spray texture, salt texture, scratching, and wax resist. Starting with spray texture, you're gonna load up your paintbrush with lots of wet paint, hold out your finger, and smack your paintbrush right up against your finger to spray the paint right onto the paper. It's a good idea to cover any areas you don't wish to get paint on with some paper, or some kind of mask to prevent accidental splashing of paint. Try out some different colors and have a little bit of fun. You might notice that flicking the paintbrush bristles only produces a little bit of spray, whereas actually flinging the paintbrush and banging against your finger produces much bigger splashes of paint. With some salt handy, we're gonna prepare our area for salt texture very similar to how we did the wet on wet technique. We're gonna mix up some wet paint, kind of mix it around in our, in our section there. And while the paint is still wet, we're gonna sprinkle some salt right directly onto the paint. Once the salt touches the paper, it begins to soak up some of the watercolor that you just applied. We're going to let it sit there for a few hours and dry so that it has a chance to soak up more and more of the paint. Uh, eventually you'll scrape it off and you should find a nice crystally pattern left behind that almost might resemble snowflakes. For scratching, we're going to prepare a wash, apply it to our paper, and before it has a chance to dry, we're going to flip over our brush and use the back side of the brush to scratch a design or a shape into our wet paint. Although it might not be easy to see in this video, as soon as you begin scratching into the wet watercolor paper, the paint begins to pool up into the impressions that you've made into the paper and your designs start to show up a little bit more vividly. Keep in mind this can also happen if you're using a pencil and you're pushing very hard on your paper. Even if you go back and erase, later on when you cover that with watercolor it might fill in and also leave the marks that you've made. Our final technique in this series is one that I learned from my elementary school art teacher, probably in about second or third grade to teach us about Vincent van Gogh. And this one's called Wax Resist. For Wax Resist, we're gonna use crayons to create a design on our watercolor paper, which we'll later go back and paint over when we're done. Now this technique can also be used to mask off an area which you don't wish paint to cover. Thinking back to my elementary school art project that I mentioned earlier, I'm creating kind of a Van Gogh inspired Starry Night type scene. As I begin to add a, a dark wash using violet, you're going to notice that the crayon actually repels the watercolor paint, whereas the areas that we've kind of left just blank paper soak it in, kind of creating an, a nice strong contrast.
and our design really kind of shows up nice and bold. Now that my salt texture technique has had plenty of time to dry, I'm going to begin rubbing off the remaining salt to leave behind the crystalline design below. Thank you for watching this series on watercolor techniques. Check back again soon to find more videos from Stecker Studios.